Okay, we are supposed we are we are supposed to have to to get two lectures today, uh, but unfortunately, Professor Boris cannot uh, deliver his lectures today, and then we deliver it next uh, Thursday at three p.m. So that today we have only one lecture, ninety minutes of lectures uh, by Professor Alain. First of all, I may present him before he start. The author, uh, Professor Alain Jeve Foutre was born in Banjul in Cameroon. He has received a Master of Science in Physics from the University of Yaoundé One in Cameroon in 2003, PhD in Theological Physics from the University of Yaoundé One in 2010. From 2009 to 2016, he was an assistant professor at the University of China in Cameroon from, 2000, uh, from 2016 to 2021. He was associate professor and since 2021, a full professor at the University of China in Cameroon. And he has published more than 19 uh, scientific papers. Those, I invite uh, Professor Alain to share his screen with us and then start with his 90 minutes of lectures. I repeat again, next Thursday, that is uh, the day after tomorrow, September 14, at 3 p.m. Beijing time, Professor Bor Boris Maloney will give his first lectures. And also, I think that next next Tuesday, uh, only Professor Alain will give uh, three hours of lectures, and then on uh, September twenty sixth, Professor Boris will deliver a three hours of lectures. Okay, th thank you, Alain. I think we can see your screen, and then you can start with the lectures. Okay, hi to everyone. It's a pleasure for me to attend this uh, new cycle of lecture. So I would like to express my gratitude to all the, the team at the other side. So the series of uh, this lecture will be focused on the the hypothesis and also the objective of the lectures. So this uh, uh, general introduction will put the basis of what we are going to listen during all the three month lecture. So as we know, with the recent technology and fabrication of uh, new material, and especially the low dimensional material called nanostructure, and such as the quantum dot. And remember that that quantum dot, the confinement of the charge carrier was in three dimensions. So it means that the confinement, the, uh, the, the charge carrier is confined in direction X, direction Y, and direction Z. And also, those nanostructure has the properties to have a, a, a discrete spectrum. And with that discrete spectrum, we can benefit from the quantum behavior of this nanostructure is defined as any structure with one or more dimension measuring in the nanometer scale. It means either is the X dimension who can have the dimension of the nanometer or the Y dimension or the Z dimension who can have the dimension, the, 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 the dimension of the nanometer we can call all those structures as the nano structure. 
So if we look, for example, today, consider the attention is focused on those special low dimensional structure. Because the electronic and the optical properties of those nanostructure is highlighted compared to the common structure. So understanding the physics of nano devices offer a fascinating opportunity to explore quantum property of matter at the mesoscopic level. So we are going to see that at the mesoscopic level, those property, those structure exhibit uh, extraordinary properties. That's why it's still interesting to investigate those nanostructural properties. So they have fundamental impact on modern technology. And also we realize that the coupling between the electron and the phone play an important role, especially in those low dimensional system. And today, or in, during this series of lecture, we will focus not just on the uh, optical phonon as we did last time, but we will focus on the electron acoustic phonon. In the uh, lecture coming, we will distinguish how the optical phonon is different to the acoustic phonon. Especially in condensed matter physics, a phonon designed as a quantum of vibration of vibrational energy in solid and in certain liquid. So it means that a conduction electron in the semiconductor interact especially with this uh, phonon. And this interaction with the electron and the phonon form a quasi-particle. That quasi-particle is called polaron. It means if, for example, the polaron is formed by the optical, by the interaction between the electron and the optical phonon, we will talk in terms of optical polaron. If the polaron is formed now in terms of the coupling or the quasi particle resulting from the coupling between the electron and the acoustic phonon, the result quasi particle should be the acoustic. Polarum. So it means that from here, we can distinguish two kinds of polarons. And we are also going to add another. So the acoustic polaron and the optical polaron. This acoustic polaron results from the interaction between the electron and the acoustic phone. And the optical polaron results from the interaction between the electron and the optic uh, the acoustic polaron results from the interaction between the electron and the optical phonon. So the term polaron originally is used to describe an electron interacting, as I said before, with the longitudinal optical phonon in ionic crystal. And this subject of polaron has come a long wave since the Froelich established that there can be this kind of interaction. And this Froelich, Froelich provide a Hamiltonian describing this interaction. And we call this interaction or this Hamiltonian the Froelich Hamiltonian. And especially neglected in the original development of the polaron theory 
as relativity import on important, the interaction of the electron with acoustic phonon in polar semiconductor was brought into the focus of attention by Toyozowa. So it means many researchers since a long time was not considered that uh, the electron can interact with the phonon, with the acoustic phonon. That's why we can see from many of Interaction, the law it was important that I contact with the thing of external changes behavior. And for example, in crystal without an invasion center of piezo or the piezo electric crystal, a conduction electron interact with the acoustic phonon and form a quasi particle called the piezoelectric polar. So this is another kind of polar. This is the piezoelectric polar. And this piezoelectric polar is coming from a certain crystal, a piezoelectric crystal. And the piezoelectric polar arise from the interaction between the, the optical or the acoustic polaron. So it means that from here, we can distinguish the acoustic polaron. We can distinguish the optic polar or optical polaron. And we can distinguish also the piezoelectric polaron. And this piezoelectric polaron is arrived in the piezoelectric crystal. We are going to define how the piezoelectric crystal arrive. Although this difference was noted early by Major and Polder and Harrison, we can see these uh, uh, three references to have the difference between those three type of polar on but we are going also to establish or to give in detail the difference between those type of, uh, of polar. And especially, Wilson, who study in detail the property of the important piezoelectric semiconductor, such as this ZNO and CDS, in the light of piezoelectric scattering. Very recently, much effort have been focused on exploring the polaron effect in low dimensional system. And we can see, for example, I work on this uh, matter, the entropy, the free energy, the heat capacity, the magnetization, and so on, in the presence of the interaction between the electron and the acoustic phonon, and also in by taking into consideration the piezoelectric polar. So, what is the objective of this lecture? The general objective is to study the effect of the electron acoustic phonon coupling on the properties. Let us say properties in some nanostructure. Under some external field. So this is the main, the main objective. Each nanostructure, on each nanostructure, will investigate the properties the physical properties of those nanostructure, why taken in consideration the electron, the electron acoustic phonon, why many authors neglected 
in their work and to attain this objective we need to evaluate from the hamiltonian from the hamiltonian we are going to adopt a specific method and that method will be function of the of the coupling strain between the electron and the acoustic performance. We need to adopt a certain method and investigate, for example, the energy, the lifetime, the mobility, the effective mass, the ground state energy, and so on. And later and later. The ground state energy, the ground state binding energy for the weak coupling and for the strong coupling for acoustic and piezo electric polar. And this can be studied with various confinement. So it means we can use the notion of the symmetric. Gaussian confinement, and in the symmetric Gaussian confinement, the confinement in H, the 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 the, the, the confinement frequency in each direction will be equal. Now we can vary the confinement in each direction and have, for example, the asymmetric Gaussian confinement. We can also vary. The type of the nanostructure and have, for example, <clears throat> this asymmetric Gaussian quantum wire, quantum dot, and on it, we can add an impurity. That impurity as a particle is confined in one direction. This is the Z direction. And it means that he can move freely in X and Y. And also, we should remark here that the sum of the degree of freedom and the degree of confinement always give three. So if there's not confinement, it means there are three degrees of, of, of freedom. If there's one confinement, there are two degrees of freedom. If there is two degree of confinement, it means there are one degree of freedom. If there are three degree of confinement, it means there is zero degree of confinement. This table generalizes the notion of the degree of confinement and the degree of, of freedom. How are we going to prepare Nano structure, especially the freestanding nano structure, and so on. So, the freestanding nano structure that we are going to study in detail can be fabricated using the different techniques as, as atom. So, a quantum dot is a semiconductor hetero structure that confine charge carrying. Those charges can be electron or hole in the volume or on the order of the particle, of order of the particle, quantum mechanical wave land. Confinement at this scale results is discrete energy river. Just like electron confined to orbit, the atomic nuclear have discrete energy. So as the particles are confined in this quantum dot, the resultant of this is the quantum behavior of the semiconductor. Of the semiconductor. So a hole in the absence of the electron in the material and the collective behavior of the nearby electron 
make the whole appear to be a particle unto itself. Now, when an electron and the whole is most annually confined in the quantum dot, they may combine and emit their energy as a photon. The quantum mechanical state of the charge carrier trapped in a dot can be coherently manipulated by interacting with external applied laser beam, electric field, magnetic field, and so on. From there, a quantum dot with an electron confined inside its potential suitable as a quantum bit or qubit is a future quantum computer. So we can <clears throat> use this structure to form a bit, a quantum bit or a qubit by putting, for example, a state or the ground state, the ground state, the ground state energy, and the, the first excited state energy, we can construct a state teaching technique. is different to this and this also. We see that this is the dot, this is the barrier, and this is also the barrier. From here, let us move to the quantum wire. They are one dimensional structure in which electrons are free to move in one direction. This is called the quantum wire. If the electron is moved to, is free to move in one di 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 direction, it means the other two, the electron is confined in the other two, two directions. Is free to move in the direction, in the Z direction. It means in the X and in the Y direction, the electron is confined. They appear like tube, like Y, with diameter in the nanometer range and length of several micrometers. Fabrication techniques are based on the formation of quantum wire with addition lateral and gap confinement and expected to form true 1D quantum wire. The formation of such wire by direct epitaxial growth on prepared tiny substantia is the promising technique. Indeed, the fabrication by metal organic chemical vapor deposit position on substrate with prepared tiny fire shape growth has led to every narrow wire with lateral heterojunction confinement. We will see, for example, in the figure five and six, how show the expansion view of the single quantum wire, wire where clearly the electron or hole is free to move only in one direction. We we'll see, for example, this is a lithography of the single quantum wire. You see here that the Electron is free to move in this direction in, in Y. The electron is free to move here, to move here. In one dimension and confined in two, confined in X and Y 
and free to move in the in the in the in the in the in the, in the, in the, Z, in the Z direction. Okay, let us continue with the freestanding slab. The freestanding slab here is a new class of semi of nanostructure. This is nanocomposition hybrid material are decomposed of 2D slab, an organic B functional molecular that act as link as well as spatial. The most intrinsic property of this uh, new class of nanostructure are that they exhibit strong quantum confinement effect while possessing the perfectly periodic arrangement. So the freestanding slab exhibit the strong quantum confinement and possess also the perfectly periodic arrangement. Freestanding slab present waveguide for electron wave which have few future substantially different for more conveniently quantum structure. Such wave guide may have very high potential energy barrier for electron. So if it related to hot, but quantized electron are possible. So the quantum, the phonon subsystem will also undergo significant modification of quantization of the acoustic phonon spectrum in the way similar to the uh, electron quantization Schwakor. So freestanding snap here, structure are widely employed because they are relatively easy to fabricate. A variety of nanoscale, photonic, mechanical, electronical, and optoelectronical devices require secure thick film fabrication. Typically, the device layer is defined by thin film deposition of the substrate of the different material and optical or electronical isolation of the property of by material property of the substrate and remove the substrate. So we have here an example of the of the free standing slab. We see that is fabricated by many, many substrate. We have, for example, this is, this is the arsenic gallium substrate, this is an epoxy, and this is an XeO2 substrate. And this gives a, chemi a schematical size view diagram of experimental photonic crystal slab. And this is the arsenic gallium, this for this slab with SEO the bottom adding, and this down in B is the freestanding slab. I think uh, we are, I'm going to end this uh, lecture today and continue uh, next, uh, next, 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 next week. Thank you very well, very, uh, thank you very to all for the listing. Okay, Alain, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. The next lecture is planned for next Tuesday. And you have, uh, since Boris will not be available, you have three hours of uh, lectures. Okay. Next Tuesday, Thank you. September Thank you 19, I think. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. So I, I, as I have already announced, Professor Boris will give his first lecture next uh, Tuesday. That is September 14 at 3 p.m. Beijing time. I will send you the appropriate link because it will not be on the uh, Kusha. Okay, thank you and bye-bye. Bye-bye to all. Thank you very much.